我们看一段莎士比亚的原型，然后你们再来看我们的戏，你会发现怎么完全不同的世界，好不好？我们看皇家莎士比亚剧团的《仲夏夜之梦》，到底长什么样？关灯嘛，谢谢。这是环球剧场，也是在莎士比亚时期就盖的剧场，后来经过火烧了以后又重建。这个剧场可以容纳一千到三千个人，你看可以满满的用站票。有位置坐的是比较高价位的，站票就是一般的老百姓。站的真的很酸，因为要站三小时，真的很累。好，一开始他们乐团是在二楼，中间的二楼，他们像戏曲的舞台，也是出将入相的感觉。哈，这是先王先后，他有一个序来介绍人物，好，介绍他们之间的关系。这是先后，先王。然后这是王妃，这是王爷。这时候回到，呃，第五五幕戏里面的第一幕，第一场。就讲前情，他们在战场上相遇，他们在狩猎。Our nuptial hour draws on apace. Four happy days bring in another moon, but Omi thinks how slow this old moon wanes. She lingers my desires like to a stepdam or a dowager, long withering out a young man's revenue. Four days will quickly steep themselves in night. Four nights will quickly dream away the time, and then the moon, like to a silver bow new bent in heaven, shall behold the night of our solemnities. Go Philistrate! Stir up the Athenian youth to merriment. Awake the pert and nimble spirit of mirth. Turn melancholy forth to funerals. The pale companion is not for our pomp. Hippolyta, I wooed thee with my sword, and won thy love doing the injuries. But I will wed thee in another key. With pomp, with triumph, and with reveling. Then we will celebrate a joyous wedding. Thanks, Hippolyta. 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 Thanks, My daughter Hermia, stand forth to me, Tris. My noble lord, this man has my consent to marry her. Stand forth, Lysander, and my gracious duke. This man has bewitched the bosom of my child. Thou, thou, Lysander, thou hast given the rhymes and interchanged love tokens with my child. Thou hast by moonlight at our window sung with feigning voice verses of feigning love. 
and stolen the impression of her fantasy with bracelets of thy hair, rings, gourds, conceits, knacks, trifles, nosegays, sweetmeats, messengers of strong prevailment in unhardened youth with cunning. Hast thou filched my daughter's heart, turned her obedience, which is due to me, to stubborn harshness, and my gracious duke, be it so, she will not hear before your grace, consent to marry with Demetrius, I beg the ancient privilege of Athens. As she is mine, I may dispose of her, which will either be to this gentleman or to her death, according to our law immediately provided in that case. What say you, Hermia? Be advised, fair maid, to you your father should be as a god, one that composed your beauties, yea, and one to whom you are but as a fall in wax by him imprinted. And within his power to leave the figure or disfigure it. Demetrius is a worthy gentleman. Size Lysander! <laughs> in himself he is. But in this kind, wanting your father's voice, the other must be held the worthier. I would my father look but with my eyes! Brother, your eyes must with his judgment look! I do entreat your grace to pardon me. I know not by what power I am made bold, nor how it may concern my majesty in such a presence here to my thoughts. But I beseech your grace that I may know the worst that may befall me in this case if I refuse to wed Demetrius. Either to die the death, or to abjure forever the society of men. Therefore, fair Hermia, question your desires. Know of your youth, examine well your blood, whether, if you yield not to your father's choice, you can endure the livery of a nun. For I to be in shady cloister mew, to live a barren sister all your life, chanting faint hymns to the cold, fruitless moon. Thrice blessed they that master sow their blood to undergo such maiden pilgrimage, but earthlier happy is the rose distilled than that which withering on the virgin thorn grows, lives and dies in single blessedness. So will I grow, so live, so die, my lord. Ere I will yield my virgin patent up unto his lordship, whose unwished yoke my soul consents not to give sovereignty. Take time to pause, and by the next new moon, the sealing day betwixt my love and me for everlasting bond of fellowship, Upon that day, either prepare to die for disobedience to your father's will, or else to wed Demetrius as he would, or on Diana's altar to protest for I, austerity and single life. Relent, sweet Hermia, and Lysander, yield thy crazy title to my certain right. You have a father's love, Demetrius. Let me have Hermia's. Do you marry him? Scorn for Lysander. Okay, we can see here. Do you have my love? And what is mine, my love shall render him. You have found she is mine. Hello, my friend. 为什么京剧厉害？你看王爷讲话的口气，跟王妃讲话的口气，跟何密雅讲话的口气，跟赖三德讲话的口气，跟米奇士讲话的口气，跟那个一级讲话的口气，是不是都一样？但是京剧不会哦，生旦净丑哦。每一个人讲话的训练的方法，跟他是唱头路、二路、三路，他是唱文的、武的，他们讲话的动作态度。跟每一个阶级、跟性格、人物都被分得很细，所以你一辈子只能学那个东西。所以你们可以到我们剧场来看，你会发现每一个角色他的讲话、他的动作、他的样子，他们互相敬礼、走的位置、距离，他是都被安排的好好的。他不会马上何密啊就啪，就是跟王爷这样说话，但是跪下来说。啊，意思是有距有距离的说，他不会这么直接的说。那我们看一下，这个就是我们先王先后的扮相。那我们再看一下其他的，来，有没有其他的？都可以，你看，你随便找一个。好，好，戏班我们有五个戏班。哎呀，有看到？好，啊，没有出来。好，这是我们五个戏班。四龙工商啊，没有，没关系。好，这我们五个戏班。好，有裁缝，有厨子，有木匠，有泥匠，还有铁匠。好，然后接下来裁缝有点娘啊，对。然后他以前参加过《红顶艺人》，他扮过男扮女，他他很可爱的。他后来演驴子。来，接下来，我们把他头饰上面都有什么针啊、线啊，还有那个纽扣。来，下一个。再下一个没关系，再下一个
，再下一个，呃，不要那么多，才这个五个方向。好，这是我们的海伦娜，好，一个失恋的一个女人。好，她是花旦，我们设定她是花旦，所以她的个性比较奔放。好，然后接下来下一个，好，这是她爱的米奇士。我们把它界定比较朝向花脸的角色去，因为他个性比较粗犷一点，比较憨厚，啊，就是米奇士。可是这个黄敬堂很厉害，他是武术高手，他不是真正的京剧演员，可是他很会唱歌，那他又会武术，所以我们找他演。然后他又长了一百八十公分，非常的俊挺，所以我们找他来演。他也是考试进来的。然后接下来我们看，好，好，这是我们的何蜜雅，是不是跟刚刚很不一样？很娇嫩，对不对？跟瓷器一样的何蜜雅，人见人爱的何蜜雅，哈，她是青衣，她是学的是梅派的戏，她很会唱那个《霸王别姬》的虞姬，呃，第一次参加我们，她才十九岁吧，还是二十岁？她第一次参加我们，对，可是她唱戏的年龄有十年了。好，再来，好，这是我们讲的朱伯成，就是赖山德，就是我们最最新力捧的这个，以后我们期望他能够呃接班吴兴国老师的。就是他很厉害，然后是朱伯成，然后跟他的爱人，他演赖三德跟呃何蜜雅。好，那我的演讲就到这边，谢谢大家。好，希望你们呃有机会到台北去看，要么就是六月二十五号，绝对不要错过，因为我们乐团有十二个乐团，然后你们可以看到 l i f e 的音乐演出，然后有指挥。然后我们有二十二个演员，然后非常华丽的服装、布景、灯光，啊，很精彩的一个戏。然后是个很大的制作，要到新竹来不太容易。如果没有台积新竹艺术季是不可能来的，因为花费太大了，几百万。所以你们一定要把握住机会。然后我们有八折的订购单，希望大家踊跃的来看戏。谢谢。